you, Ajoy Kumar, because the big buzz at the moment is that the Congress believes it's on the comeback trail, starting with Haryana. This morning we saw a picture of Rahul Gandhi with Vinesh Fogat and Bajrang Punia. Is the Congress planning to bring these wrestlers, Olympic dissenting wrestlers into the fray? Is the Congress basically saying, our moment has come, our time has come? Does the Congress really believe that you are on the road to recovery? Or was 2024 June only a false dawn? You only got 99 seats in the end. Look, I think, uh, Rajdeep, the writing is on the wall. Even your service and everybody else's service, except those few surveys which seem to be permanently uh, uh, the paid media kind of service which keep coming up. The independent service continue to show that the Congress uh, in Haryana is in outstanding shape. The India Alliance is in outstanding shape in Maharashtra. Even in my state of Jharkhand, uh, uh, everybody is saying even Stephen, but I'm very, very confident that the India Alliance will get through very well. And so is the story in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, that's what we feel. That's what. Uh, so, so what uh, am I to make out with this Metro picture? Posters, what am I, what, uh, Dr. Ajay Kumar, what am I to make out with the picture I just showed on screen with Vinesh Fogat and Bajrang Punia? Is the Congress uh, planning to bring them in? Do you need some star power? Are you desperately looking for some star power in Haryana? So that's a very, uh, very what you call uh, cynical view of looking at things, Rajdeep. The fact of life is that uh, Bajram Punia and Vinesh Fogart are the heroes of this country. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody is a fan of uh, Vinesh uh, Fogart and Bajram Punia. Mm -hmm. And if they met Mr. Gandhi, we don't uh, be. It's too premature for me to say that you know what that what are the what's going to happen or what's their role going to be. But it will be wonderful to have them fight the election for the simple reason is they're young people, aspiration of the young. Uh, uh, people can identify with them a lot, and there is a momentum when people are, when people like Bajrang Punia, people like Vinesh Fogart, who have spoken against uh, people like Brij Bhushan Singh, the Bharatiya Janata Party's army of uh, you know mm -hmm. members of parliament and people who have been uh, alleged, because Twin Sina would say that they are not been convicted, alleged molesters and uh, uh, you know attempted to. Uh, outrage the modesty of women, such kind of people, when people like Vinesh were spoken up against the system, I think it will be a huge win and people will also, it will also resonate okay. with the women population. Okay, so you're, you're in a way hoping that they will join your party, but uh, Tuin Sina, would I be right in saying that the BJP comes into this election not exactly in great shape? In Jammu and Kashmir, you released a list and then had to take it back because there were protests. In Haryana, every poll that I've seen shows considerable anti-incumbency against the government. You had to change your chief minister six months ago. And uh, even in Jharkhand, there are reports of sympathy wave uh, for uh, Heman Soren in the tribal areas. And in Maharashtra too, the Mahavikas Agadi seems to be getting its act together in terms of seat sharing, while we don't know whether Ajit Pawar will be part of your alliance come election time. So would I be right in saying... The momentum for now, at least, this time, is with the opposition? Well, well good evening, Rajdeep. Good evening, everybody. Good you evening. know, contrary to the misplaced uh, optimism that you and Dr. Ajoy Kumar share, the no, no, point I don't is share. Even I, I, I don't share. I'm only telling you what the mood is. Improvement. I don't share necessarily no, no. optimism. No, no. So I'm telling I, you the I facts. I think you know uh, these were sim similar. I think I think many journalists had a similar sense before the assembly elections last year in November, mm -hmm. December, and the mm -hmm. results were there for ev everybody to see. Now the point is, even the Congress Party realizes that its limited improvement in the 2024 Lok Sabha polls was a flash in the pan. It mm -hmm. has no new agenda, and therefore it has embarked on a very on a very malified two point ulterior agenda one is you know the financial the fiscal anarchy model which you see in in uh, himachal which you see in in uh, you know telangana and karnataka where they over promise but simply don't have the ability to deliver mm -hmm. now i think you know after what has happened in himachal people in the remaining four states which are going to assembly polls are actually asking can they trust this congress party which has fiscal anarchy written all over its plans number two you know the divisive agenda you must be aware today rahul gandhi has given a speech in kashmir where he's saying outsiders are taking your job 
can you imagine a national leader propagating this line this is the language which which yasin malik used to speak how are the dalits how is the valmiki samaj how is the gorkha samaj which has benefited from the abrogation of article 370 outsider and i think on your show tonight the congress party must explain does will it bring back article 370 it needs to be candid and when it comes to haryana mm -hmm. can you imagine that you know they are so underconfident that number one they might want to piggyback on the on the, on the two sports persons who are unhappy with the system and number two they are desperate for an alliance with aam aadmi party if the congress is so confident let ajay kumar say that they are not having an alliance in karnataka in haryana okay i you you've raised a couple of important questions before i come to jasmin shah ajay kumar respond to specifically the kashmir question first the uh, <laughs> the national conference is your ally there they've made it very clear that if they come to par they will seek restoration of article 370 not easy most believe it's impossible rahul gandhi today said outsiders uh, obviously referring in a way to reservations that have been given in uh, jnk and suggesting that uh, uh, kashmiris are losing their rights is it are you playing with fire when you go into kashmir with the national conference in the times in which we live the bjp is already accusing you of of, of being anti national once again So the advantage of the Bharatiya Janata Party spokesperson is lack of uh, repeating lies and lack of reading really helps them a lot. And and, and genuinely they live in a la la land. Congress said we support the 370. The process was wrong. But Mr. Twain Sinha and that uh, promo, that Mr. Tiwari and that you know the continuous brigade of lies, uh, spewing lies, morning to evening. So I would request them to please read the parliamentary discussion, sir, on what our stand is. If you want, I'll send you the links, Mr. Twain Sinha. Firstly, the 370. We sub we said that the process was wrong. Abrogation of 370 was right. The process was wrong repeatedly, Congress President. But you guys have taken the uh, uh, no. You support the abrogation of, of 370. Let me be very clear. What? Congress supports the abrogation of 370. Uh, Rajdeep, first question. One minute, one Congress, minute, Mr. Sinha. Once, yes, sir. Let me let me complete. Rajdeep, by specifically. One minute, Mr. Sinha. One minute, Mr. Sinha. One, one, minute, sec, one, Sina. Sec, one sec. The Congress clearly said. that the abrogation of 370 the process was wrong the requirement was yes you re continuously read the statement which was made by the congress whether it's jaram ramesh and everybody's statement on that mm -hmm. the breaking up of the state from a from a state to union territory was wrong we we the process was wrong if the process was followed rightly we would have supported it the problem was every opposition leader said that clearly right. but they continue to skew lies secondly <clears throat> so you got my words read my lips mm. second issue on reservation rahul gandhi didn't say outsiders was the people who got the reservation in the areas of jammu kashmir and all he said that the bharatiya janata party changed the land purchase rules so that people from the rss and delhi would go and buy land and capture the land that the rule is even in jharkhand outsiders cannot buy tribal lands but the bharatiya janata party had their eyes on the land of kashmir and they wanted to send all their businessmen friends that is what we are saying is against that the outsiders were allowed to buy land On, not on... the people of jammu not the people of kashmir no one said rajdeep mm -hmm. this there is a great great happiness in being not reading you know or being misinformed so let's be very clear what did the bjp say that anybody can go and buy land in in kashmir the problem was himachal also has the same rule that you can't go and buy land in himachal have they abrogated that rule they have not so the question is certain states mm -hmm. had rules and regulations preventing people from outside the rest of india to buy land to protect the culture and the land of that place himachal at that land uttarakhand didn't have do you right? want to respond so do you now want to yeah. respond to the fact that if you are so confident of haryana why you know, are you looking for a tie up with aam aadmi party so the question again is if you are dis okay let me tell you something that the bjp had 27 parties in the alliance Hmm. they're so shameless yeah they're depending on telugu desam they're depending on nitish kumar they're depending on chirag paswan and then they go and give gyan on alliance and strength my question is they're depending actually on ed cbi and by the way they keep giving bail to mr ram rahim what do you think the guy who gave bail to ram rahim uh, pero is now the jailer is in their party got a ticket so they are so shameless that they continues to give payroll to mr ram rahim who was accused in a okay. rape and murder by the way can i twin sir one sir one sir no 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 you answer no, no. me answer me ram rahim payroll okay let him answer Is that it a good thing or a bad thing please on national tv mr okay. twin sir please reply because you have been giving payroll so please educate okay, me let, on let, that 
uh, for our audiences, you know, uh, Ram Rahim Kashmir, is convicted. Clearly. Just a minute, he, he's, he's responded to your Kashmir question. He's now raised a counter question, saying in the context of Haryana, you are uh, looking once again at the Deras to support you and you keep giving Ram Rahim parole and according to him, uh, those involved are going to get tickets from your party. Or ticket. There is no question of that. You know, I, there, there is a legal process involved. The government is not involved with giving the giving the bail. The point is, he has not been able to define who is an outsider. Because I can tell you, in Kashmir, most of the people who have taken land in the last five years are women, women, Kashmiri women who are married outside Kashmir. He he calls them outsider. How can a national party be so anti-women? That is the question. He has not been able to define an outsider over here. No, you know, I, 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 just a minute, just a minute, both of you, one minute. Our audiences need to know the fact is that there were changes made that allowed, yes, Kashmiri women uh, not domiciled in the valley to get land, but it also allowed outsiders. Absolutely, all, I'm glad you're stating yeah, that. It right. also allowed, no, just a minute, right. sir. 